I wanted to talk about a tool I've been using a lot recently to show the 3D structure of molecules, look at the molecular surface, polarity, and so on. So this is called MoleView. It's a free online tool for looking at molecules in three dimensions. It has quite an extensive library. So these representations are created by data from actual molecules. So there are a number of different things you can do with MoleView. I look at this from the perspective of an educator, someone teaching about chemistry or learning about chemistry. So we'll talk about it from that perspective. So we have a two-dimensional look here where we can look at the different molecules and we can orient these. We can move things around here as well. And then we have this three-dimensional look here. I'm going to turn off the electrostatic surface there. So we just end up having, a, let's hit clean. We just have our molecular model back here. So these representations are useful, especially helping students learn about structural formulas and then really thinking about molecular geometry and polarity. The 3D models are also very helpful. So one of the things I really like to do is to turn on the molecular surface there, the electrostatic surface here, and really see that we have, you know, this negative here around the oxygen, which is more electronegative, and then down here, the blue, the more positive, and help students visualize polarity and then how these might interact. We can look at this in a number of representations here. We can take and change the models to stick models or to wireframe, different representations like that. We can also change the background to whatever color we like. Then we can zoom and scroll with the mouse wheel. And if we want, we can go up to Tools and 3D Image. We can just export that to include in PowerPoints or teaching materials. Let's take a look at a little more complex biomolecule. How about hemoglobin? So this is kind of nice. You can look at some pretty complicated molecules here. Try to start to understand how their structure affects their function. Let's go into a model, go to a ball and stick there. And then look at different representations, how we might look at this different ways. Let's look at DNA. So we just type DNA in the search box. And we could look at this, for example, as a ribbon. I like that. Kind of this helical structure that we can then interact with in different ways. So that's a look at MoleView. I'll leave you here with this caffeine molecule. And I uh, hope you take a look at that. Check it out. I have found it to be a very, very useful teaching tool. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.